Hello, Tim Lords, and welcome to this Daily Market Commentary for Monday, the 7th of October, 2019. I hope uh, everybody had a great weekend and uh, everybody survived non farm payroll day on Friday. The, uh, despite the moves in the equity markets, uh, the FX reaction to uh, NFP was, uh, was fairly muted, uh, maybe hardly surprising, perhaps, as the headline number did come in very close to what the market was expecting, um, 136. Uh, plus 136,000 against a uh, market expectation of plus 140,000. Uh, this week would begin pretty quietly with uh, China, Hong Kong, and Australia all celebrating holidays uh, to start the week. Um, ongoing demonstrations of Washington in Hong Kong, uh, making most of the early headlines, uh, but fair to say the markets uh, chose to shrug them off. And by the time the US day begins, uh, FX markets are almost uh, unchanged from the Friday close with uh, Aussie and Kiwi being the only real movers. And among the, mo uh, the major currencies, both would slip around 25 points from their uh, from the closes on Friday, um, mainly on the back of weaker equity markets. So as the US day gets going, um, it's it's two quiet, quiet markets. Uh, deep, the Dow Jones uh, does open down 100 points on concerns over the uh, US-China trade talks for later this week. Um, for FX, it was a slow grind with the, John, with the dollar generally a little better bid against the major currencies, edging up to a high of 107.05 against the yen and um, trading 109.85 against the euro. But uh, then we get a headline hitting the wires um, saying that China uh, are willing to do a trade deal on all areas that both parties agree on uh, with other tougher issues to be discussed next year. Uh, the market took this. It's kind of being a bit of an immediate positive. Uh, stocks shoot higher. The Dow Jones is up 60 points, and uh, the dollar makes some gains across the board, sending the dollar yen up to a high of 107.45, and euro down to 109.65. Uh, sterling drops to 122.90, and gold falls down to 14.88. Um, late in the US uh, day, stocks do actually turn uh, lower with the Dow Jones ending down 95 points um, as traders sort of read through that statement and, um, and kind of reinterpret it if you like but uh, China saying okay you know this is this is what's on the table if you like it then uh, we'll do a deal if you don't like it then you know <laughs> we're not doing a deal we'll come back next year and see where you stand then um, the equity markets you know took a reverse on the back of that um, interesting the FX market barely reacted uh, Really, only dollar yen moving uh, a fraction lower, back down to 107.25. So fairly obvious. Um, we can see what this week's main theme will be. Um, obviously, the trade talks, which begin on the 10th, which is Thursday. So uh, keep your eyes posted for all headlines up to and including Thursday on trade talks. Um, elsewhere, it was a positive start to the week for crypto with uh, Bitcoin heading up to 8200 and uh, ETH up to 180 bucks uh, by the end of Monday. Uh, no great real reason for the rally, but um, I have seen a couple of analysts calling for the correction in Bitcoin to be near the end. Um, that despite obviously a fairly weak performance over the weekend. So, um, you know, take that with a grain, of, uh, a grain of salt. Moving on to a quick technical uh, picture here. Another day for equities to take centre stage and FX to remain in familiar ranges. Yes, dolly uh, broke Friday's post-NFP highs, suggesting the market is happy to hold dollars regardless of the outcome of trade talks and other economic developments. But otherwise, it was inconclusive day for FX. Um, so I want to just take a quick look at dolly um, And I have up in front of us here a four-hour chart with the S&P index uh, overlaid on top. In orange, so you've got the uh, the red and green is dollar yen, and the orange is the S and P, and you can see um, fairly clearly here that uh, up till June, sometime I suppose, we have a fairly strong correlation between the two, and then we start to get some divergence. We get the S and P goes up, and dollar yen continues to go down, and um, you know it's. You get the feeling that one side or another is going to give. Um, 
you know, as you can see from this correlation, that's often why the you know, market players refer to risk on and risk off trades involving the yen because of the strong correlation between uh, the yen and the equity markets. But so obviously, the period like we've had over the last couple of months, um, we do on occasion see what we refer to as divergence. Uh, and we see that correlation breaking down. I don't think this correlation is really breaking down. I just think what we need here is for one side to catch up with the other, which means either Dolly Inn is going to rally or stocks are going to come back down. Um, who knows? But uh, worth keeping an eye on this chart over uh, over the coming weeks, as uh, you do get the feeling one side or another is going to uh, is going to give you an issue. And with that, uh, I should call it a day. Hope you all had a good start to the week. And look forward to speaking with you soon. Cheers.